This was a serious thing, wow, yeah. what's this uh, yeah. pirate thing? The name is not so serious, but <laughs> it's an international uh, movement. Uh, uh -huh. Pirate Party exists in over 60 countries in the world. Uh, we are now um, candidating for the European Parliament, and we hope uh, that we get some <laughs> seats there. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And why the name Pirate Party? <laughs> um, oh, it's um, from the internet, the name's from the internet. So you're like... Yeah. And no, and um, everyone who used Napster or something like this, ah, uh, um, and called pirate. And so yeah, the yeah. party is uh, it's an internet-based uh, like uh, Pirate Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. actually where it originated. Yeah. So. Oh, so you're like from yeah. the Pirate Bay yeah. guys. It's it's founded in Sweden, uh, where Pirate yeah. uh, uh, Bay uh, was founded. And um, so, would you be like in favor of opening the frontiers? Uh, as in for immigrants or, or yes, or what's uh, especially that? for refugees because right now it's not possible for refugees to legally uh, uh, apply for asylum in Germany because of the European rule that, that if they go through a safe country before coming here, they have to stay there and apply for asylum there. Yeah. And oh. since Germany is uh, surrounded by safe countries, it's impossible for them to come here and uh, get asylum here. And so a lot of them uh, throw away their passports, which is also uh, illegal. But if they have one, they will they, they will be sent back. And uh, what seems to be the problem? This is a uh, currywurst. This is the typical food from. Uh... Exactly, it's uh, it's very famous. Um, I have no idea why um, the curry became very famous. But the well, wurst... maybe because it was a colony or something like that. Ah. Uh, Dutch influence from the Dutch colonies. Really? Maybe. In, in Indonesia, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even sure. The I'm Dutch not even sure, but, but, in but the, the worst is obviously famous in Germany. Uh, the curry mm. is... Uh, wow, wow, wow. Delicious. It's become famous, yeah. Delicious, man. Mm. Oh, oh, Pablito! You! Pablito! Pablo, you are nice. Pablo! Vinaydo! It's Vinny. Yeah, Vinny. Yeah, this this, this friend here is Pablo. Vinny, I'm not so I, sure about I, him. I agree with Pablo, what, you're a good motherfucker. Pablo. Pablo. I, I agree with what you Pablo's said. Pablo's a good boy. Chubame el culito. Padre, cabrón, saluda campeón. Paella con patatas fritas y salsa. A bit of Italian, a bit of Italian. Vamos Atleti, vamos Atleti. Atletico. Oh, Atletico, Atletico. Minardo, hey, Minardo. <laughs> well, you need to go to Ripabania. That's like the place which is yeah, full yeah. of like. We went to 20 up yesterday, like just to have something. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was, you know. 20 yeah, up I, is okay. It's yeah, but of course, it's okay. But to get there, you have to go <laughs> yeah, past the whole. The streets are full of like. Yeah. A few people there, maybe. <laughs> it's, it's a bit dodgy, basically. Creepy. That area. That's the, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, you've yeah. got the Eros Hotel and like pink, and it's. it's a what? Bit, the, 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 the Eros Hotel, so so that's like a very special hotel. Is it like a hotel, a typical hotel here from Hamburg or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Why are you laughing, man? I don't know. What's up? What's up with the Eros Hotel? <laughs> uh, Eros, as in erotic. Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> what, what, what? I don't know. I thought we we visited that yeah, yesterday. Shut up, man. <laughs> Fact of the day: What does the word? SAD stand for? Seasonal Affection Disorder. So it's like an acronym? Exactly. Which for stands for Seasonal Affective, Affective Disorder. Disorder. Wow. Yeah. Well, 
I work for a tobacco company at the moment. I'm uh, working in finance. And uh, yeah. Do you have any moral issues as in towards because I mean at the end of the day you're you're working in something that contributes to diminish somebody else's health. We're we're dealing with here our consumers are adults. Um, they have the brains, they know what to do, you know, it's it's something that, you know, I'm not enforcing them again, like I said before, it's it's uh, it's dealing with, you know, we, we're against selling selling this to ch children for a reason, you know, we, we try our best to fight certain things like that, and, um, you know, adults have their own brains to decide if that product is good or bad. But you are fine with working with less economically developed countries and having them work for lower salaries than... Oh, no, 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 no. The tobacco world does not work like that. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not that we want to buy in low de developing countries or anything like that. It's uh, these tobacco prices, uh, the, 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 the crop prices are usually agreed locally by an organization and we have to pay it it's market price it's it's uh, it's a price that you know it's non-negotiable so the farmer will get its real share of uh, money we didn't buy a ticket so what are the chances that they might uh, catch us pretty high <laughs> really i have my ticket and what is the fine Next station, uh, 25. It's nothing, man. It's worth it. I think it's 25. I'm not sure. I've never been caught because I always buy a ticket. It's worth it, man. If it's, I, man, I tell you, like, if it's only 25 euros, I do it every day, man. <laughs> because what are the chances? The one time I went there with my, my mates, my mates from Ireland were over. Yeah. Uh, they play all different kinds of music in there. One that I, I didn't share, I, I wanted to bring them there because it's a cool place to go, like a uh, World War II nightclub as a fucking night, as World yes. War II bunker as a nightclub. So it's a cool place to bring tourists. And I brought my mates there, and it was literally the world's shittest night. It was, it was, it was Baltic slash Russian electro pop music. Best believe. Really? <laughs> best believe it was the best worst believe. night in Hamburg. <laughs> and that was not good music. <laughs> but there's a lot of, um, let's say, like there's no people around now, a lot of uh, Nazi things still around do you feel no, no, no? Not at all. In, in the culture do you feel like there's no, not at all. No, they're really, they're really because yeah I, I mean they, they must have like uh, have something inside like they, they don't want to no, no, they, they want they, to no, they're really ashamed my teacher yeah. was telling my German teacher was telling me that the That's first what? time after the not you know after Hitler that the German flag waved in Germany wasn't during the World Cup in 2006. Really? Because they were ashamed of the uh, of the flag to be you know to be waving around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was yeah. the first time after. You know, like the so what, can you explain a little bit where we are now? So guys, this is Reban. This is fucking Reban. This is lights, red district, uh, cars, good alcohol, good friends, girls, bitches. Why not? More alcohol, <laughs> more bars, free entrance to bars. Bueno, eh, like the like. <laughs> really close. It is really close. <laughs> <laughs> so, eh, yeah, eh. so here's a couple, a couple of retarded guys I met in Hamburg. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Took these, these poor fucking idiots out for the day. Yeah, okay, okay let's go. Now it's time to bed. One beer. Really one beer. <laughs> <laughs> 